Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm Reaction today. I just want to show you guys how to do basic zooms in Vegas. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions on some of my videos on how I do some of my effects. So I thought I'd make, or rather, use one of my, one of my older channels and just make some tutorials for you guys. So you guys can just learn some basic effects, basic things you can do with Vegas and uh, stuff that might help you when you're editing in general. Uh, a lot of these are related to AMVs or just anime editing in general, but a lot of them you can use for other things that don't always have to involve anime. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to get your clips that you're going to want to zoom. I got these two clips. Uh, this is of Aizen. Just after each, you go through him to the ground. He's holding his face. And then just a zoomed in of the same thing, pretty much. And uh, you're going to want to find the two beats in your song uh where the uh, where pretty much you can want to zoom so uh hold on just let me turn this down so you guys don't hear it all right so i hear the two beats right here and the first one is here the other one's there so we're just going to want to drag that back drag that to there and just trim this down uh before anything you're going to want to remember to select your or select your uh, file school properties disable resample on both of them and that pretty much just gets rid of some uh, frame blending so it just doesn't look as nasty and because uh, in, in Vegas when you're uh, editing clips if your frame rates are off slightly it'll uh, make ghost frames which uh, pretty much fill up the frames that are not being used by anything and it makes it look really gross and sloppy and also if you're if you're lagging when you're previewing your video a lot of the times people are in best full and they their, their Vegas lags when previewing uh, that happens to me also so I just ch change it down a bit lower I just put it to preview auto and that usually reduces a lot of the lag and uh, here I'm just gonna my bad I'm just gonna trim this down a bit fade it for like 15 seconds and just drag it there all right so pretty much you got this here you got your uh the parts you're gonna want to zoom and i think i did it to say we're simple there yeah and uh before anything what i like to do uh the quality of these clips are high resolution which is what you're gonna want to get you're gonna want to get the uh highest resolution slash quality clips you can get this is a uh, of bleach episode 308 and your footage, you're just going to want to have the best quality footage when you're editing because it's going to make it turn out the best and you're going to have the best results. And uh, uh, some most most videos, is I, for what I know, uh, newer animations usually have are 120 by, are 1280 by 720 or uh, 19, 1920 by 1080. And older animations are usually 640 by 480 or somewhere around there. And, uh, uh, for me, I find uh, the colors a bit dull in uh, most most animations. Of course, I like the animes and stuff, but what what I like to do to make the video look a bit better, give it a, a bit more life, is go to go to your uh, video effects panel, then go down to color correction, find studio RGB to computer RGB, and just drag it on both of those clips, and that'll bring up the color of the clips a bit more. It'll uh, lighten the lights and darken the darks a bit. And just give it a bit more color and makes it look a bit better. And uh, now you're gonna have uh, your two clips with the uh, color correction on them. And uh, just just uh, for uh, the zoom, depending on where your clip starts, you, of course, if if you're doing a zoom after another effect, you can just crossfade it in or something. I'll go over crossfades at a different time, but for right now, I'm just since I'm starting it off of a different part, I'm just gonna zoom in, go ahead about three frames, I suppose, zoom out a bit, go all the way to the end and zoom, keep make it keep zooming out, and then when you're at the end of your clip, this is the next, this clip right here is the one you're zooming into, and this is the previous one. So you're gonna want to go to the last keyframe and go back about four frames. So one, two, three, four, right here. And uh, that'll give you a, a lot of space to zoom in to your next frame. And uh, if you're doing this zoom in at the beginning also, you can uh, just do, I usually do three frames for the beginning and then however many for the end. And uh, 
since uh, you're gonna want to well you're gonna want to put uh, radio blur on uh, uh, where is it moderate I usually put moderate proportional uh, and I usually do eight frames if I'm doing it from the beginning if I'm just doing this little uh, zoom in section here and then I usually go three, four. on my zooms to the end I go about six frames from before it uh, from before the end of the clip and uh, then I go uh, and I put uh, usually 4,000 for the end there and uh, once you do that you're gonna wanna go here and you'll see this is what you have now zooming in with radio or zooming out with radio blur and then near the end of the clip it'll just be straight now since you placed your keyframe before the end you're gonna wanna go to the end of the clip zoom it in and move it over his face to the position where the next frame sort of starts so it should look something like this now and uh... still looks a bit sloppy and uh... as you see it doesn't really blend well it doesn't do much and the way to solve that w is to go into your next clip what i like to do is uh... i like to zoom it in slightly zoom it uh... zoom it out go about like four five six frames depending on what you like zoom it out a bit then zoom it out some more and that'll give it a bit of a uh... like sort of a zoom there and then we just uh... add moderate proportional uh... go about ten frames i suppose and just put it down to zero now you'll see something like this which looks a lot better it looks like it's zooming right to his face um, and there's also more ways to make it look better uh, what I like to do personally is select all my keyframes and change them to smooth as well as the other one here select all the keyframes and change them to if I could select all the keyframes and change it to smooth and that just makes the keyframes zoom in and out a bit softer and stuff and it makes it look a bit better and here what I like to do is go ahead about two frames sort of tilt it and then go ahead another two frames and tilt it the opposite way and then go ahead two and slightly tilt it and then go ahead another two frames and slightly tilt it the other way and what that'll do is sort of give it a shake there like you can see and then go I had three frames and then just do your normal shake so three I do three to the right then go ahead three and I do three to the left I go ahead three I go three down go ahead three and then go up three and then it's pretty much just the same routine after that you just do what you did to the start from the start and uh, since there's a actually I'll just drag that keyframe down there alright and now you should have uh, zoom out and zoom in and it'll sort of shake there as you can see uh, the, sh the shakes a bit rough since this is just a fast tutorial but uh, I'm sure you get the point of what I'm getting or you understand what I'm getting at and you can also to make this a bit better is go brightness and contrast add brighter uh, go ahead about 10 keyframes change this to zero and that will give it a bit of a flash when it hits his face and make it look a bit better and uh, also what you could do is go you know, uh, what I like to do to give the it a bit of a darker look is go brightness and contrast and just drag darker on both of the clips and uh, that'll just uh, change the colors a bit uh, I'm just gonna fix these uh, shakes here a bit, make them not as rough. All right, that looks a bit better. And now you you just got this, you just got this shake here. And uh, also, what I like to do is uh, since I put that uh, brightness and contrast, it makes it pretty bright, and I don't like it being super bright. So I go to gradient map, go night vision, bring it down to about three. Four, well, between two to four, and I put the color to black. Oh, not there. This is I want. This I want transparent. So this. Hold on, one second. Uh, this I put to two, two. 
no, I'll put it to three. Good enough. And change that to transparent. And then you're going to want to click one and then change that to black. And that it still has that bit of a flash now. It just has a, a dark flash also. And it just gives it a better look. So that's what you got now. And uh, I'll just put a... Uh, what, what, I'll just to make it look a bit better, I'll put a Gaussian blur, reset to none, go to the end of the clip, and put 16, 16, and that'll make the clip sort of blur out. And also I'll go uh, dark, uh, black and white, put it on, reset to none, and just so I can see, I'll make the keyframe here, so it changes colors a bit, alright? And then I'll drag that keyframe all the way to the end. And now it'll zoom into him. Sort of have that flash, that shake, that radial blur. And it'll slowly darken to black and white. And it'll blur out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll upload this clip to my AMV channel and link in the description so you can see the final result. And yeah, that's it for right now. So hopefully I hope you guys see you guys later.